breaking news. Google Notebook LM just got a lot better. From an updated chat to mind maps, to being able to choose the length of your audio overviews and being able to create them in more than 50 languages, let's test the newest Google Notebook LM updates together. Once you go to notebooklm.google, this is what the homepage is going to look like. Understand anything. Your research and thinking partner grounded in the information you trust built with the latest Gemini models. It's your personalized AI research assistant, you upload resources, and from those resources, you are able to create things like study guides, briefing docs, FAQs, a timeline, overviews, overviews in different languages, mind maps, and soon video overviews. And then there's plans here with pricing. You can check that out. I have the pro plan, but let's get to the fun part, which is actually testing all of the updates. You can start that by literally clicking try notebook LM. Because I already have an account, it's going to open to create a new notebook. All you have to do is go here and click create new. And then you need to upload sources to that notebook. What does that mean? Let's just say that I wanted to learn about what happened at the Google I.O. events. I could go to the Google account on YouTube and it's the Google I.O. keynote. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the transcript. I use a Chrome extension called Glasp. I'll put their link in the description. I'm not sponsored or anything. It's a tool that I use every day. I copy this here and let's say I wanted to learn about everything that happened. I didn't have a lot of time this week to look at all the million AI updates that have happened related to Google, Google Gemini, Google IO, all of that. What I could do is I could copy the transcript or I could even click the YouTube video and drop the link. I like to drop the transcript. I could click paste text and then I could paste the transcript and then insert. So now this notebook has one source. Another link that I'm gonna add to this notebook is I'm going to add the Google IO 2025 website and then that will be a second source. The higher quality the source is, the higher quality your notebook is in general. Now that we've added sources, I could prompt the chat down here. They have some pre-prompts already created, like how will Gemini models transform core Google products? What I'm going to say is what are the top five Google I.O. updates and how will they impact small business owners? Click enter. As you can see here, it will act like a chat GBT or a Google Gemini but just remember that it's only pulling from the sources that you input. And as you can see, it's thinking, it's thinking, it's going through the sources. And as you can see here, it's starting to type as it progresses. It didn't just give me the one answer all at once, which was one of the updates that Google Notebook LM actually posted about on X. But let's get to the mind maps because I'm excited about that. If you wanted to create an interactive mind map within Google Notebook LM, all you have to do is click mind map. And then here we'll see that it's starting to generate. You know that it's done when it says click to open the mind map. So let's click it. And then this is pretty cool. So as we could see here, you could zoom in, you could go to the left. I could zoom in, I could zoom out. And it says Google IO 25 keynote, the Gemini era. It breaks down the chapters and then you could open the sub chapters of each of the points, which is pretty cool. Like it starts to really get intense. That's awesome. Within some of these sub chapters, there are even more sub chapters. And each of them are a different color. You could zoom out and see all of them together and navigate it. Now, what I think is even cooler is that you can download. I just downloaded it and then it downloads as a PNG and it tries to fit everything in it. I think these will be pretty cool if to insert in those LinkedIn newsletters, in those blogs, in your private newsletter. I think that's awesome. I give that feature a 10 out of 10. Now that we've done the mind map, let's move to the audio of overviews. So prior to this update, you would just 
click customize and then you could have maybe some custom instructions so that you would have certain guidance for the audio overview to be generated. But now when you click customize, you not only have this paragraph area where it says what should AI hosts focus on, but you also have the option to say shorter or longer. Let's start with shorter first. I'm going to say focus on things that are most relevant for small business owners. Generate. It says this may need to take a few minutes, no need to stick around. The audio overview is complete. I click short and it is five minutes and 12 seconds. So let's listen. Hello and welcome to the deep dive. Today we're jumping into the recent Google I. Hello and welcome to the deep dive. Today we're jumping into the recent Google I.O. keynote. Uh, lots of announcements, but we really want to zero in on what matters most for you if you're running a small business. Yeah, there was a ton of stuff. One of the things that I think is interesting is if you've heard the Google Notebook audio overviews before, they talk a little bit slow. I like that because it sounds like they're really having a conversation. So I could just tell from the get-go they've increased the speed of them talking because at the pace that they used to talk, this probably would have been 40 seconds. The entire audio overview could have been closer to 9 or 10 minutes. I think that that's interesting. But let's use interactive mode, which is beta right now, and see if I interact, if it actually updates the audio overview yet or not. When I click interact mode, all I have to do is click play and then click join. Through the recent Google I.O. keynote, uh, lots of... Oh, wait. Someone wants to join. Hey, go for it. Hey, when did the keynote happen? Thanks for tuning in. Great to have you with us. So about the keynote, it actually just wrapped up. Yeah, these announcements are fresh off the virtual stage. It's all from Google I.O. 25, so pretty recent stuff. Lots to unpack, as you can probably tell. Oh, back to our listener. What's up? But do you know the date that it happened? That's a great question. Always good to have the specifics. While the transcript doesn't give us the exact date. We do know with Google I.O. 25. And Solder Pichai mentions it's the start of Gemini season. Which suggests it was the kickoff day. So that's pretty crazy is that they don't know the date, even though I gave them the website link. And they're pronouncing Gemini as Gemini, which is insane. Now, I did download the audio overview. I don't think that it updated based on my questions. There's still no update that happens when you interject, but it is a great way for you to learn and to test the limits of the AI like I just did. Now let's generate an audio overview in a different language. Now, if I wanted to download this audio overview, I could have downloaded it in the interactive beta mode, but I could also click here and download. Once that's downloaded, I can also click delete. Then I could customize the conversation for a different audience. Going back here, I could go to default or I could click longer. One of the other things that we could do is actually generate the audio overview in a different language, which I'm going to do. The way that you do that is click settings. And then here you will see output language. Right now it's on my default, which is English, but because I'm bilingual in Spanish and I could tell whether it's correct or not by listening to it, I'm going to click Spanish and then tell you what the quality of that audio overview is like because I'm curious about it. I'm gonna click Espanol and then click Save. Now it should generate the audio overview in Spanish. What's interesting is when I click Customize, I can't change the length when it's in a different language other than English right now. But I can, however, customize the instructions. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is with no customization because I just want to see what the general output is in Spanish, generate. While we wait for that, if you click up here before you interact with your Google Notebook LM or even after the fact, you can click this and then you could actually define your conversation style. So default analyst guide custom. So you can give it some custom instructions here. And then you could go to your default length in response. You ever wanted to change your Google Notebook LM to dark mode, 
all you would have to do is click settings and then click light mode and you can click dark mode or whatever mode your device is on. This is what dark mode looks like. So far, I will say that the Spanish audio overview is taking a lot longer than the English. It took about four to five minutes for the Spanish audio overview to complete. Let's take a listen to it and I'll be able to tell if it's good or not. Hola, hoy vamos a meternos Hola. de lleno, ¿eh? a explorar a fondo la reciente conferencia Google I.O. Estuvo muy centrada, casi diría que totalmente, en inteligencia artificial. Vamos, que parece que Google quiere dejar muy claro que estamos en plena era Gemini. Tenemos los puntos clave de la presentación. Really so Así es. Y el objetivo hoy es, bueno... It's hard to tell that these are AI voices. Porque más sería de la lista de novedades, que es larga. That's insane. I'm also going to test a second one because this Spanish is like traditional Spanish from Spain. Let me try like Latin American Spanish and see what that sounds like if it sounds just as real. This is actually insane to me. Very surprising because in English I could kind of tell their AI voices, but in Spanish it's actually wicked. To change the output language, click settings, output language, and then I'm going to click Latino America generate. If you speak a second language other than English, whether it's your native language or just a second language that you speak, share if you found that same experience in the comments. I want to know what the language is and whether they sound like AI or not. Dicen que tiene un rendimiento record. I mean, it's really good. It's hard to tell that this is an AI. It's a little bit easier to tell just a little than the other Spanish version, but it is very hard to tell. And I'm curious to see when a second speaker chimes in. Que supera a otros modelos y que mejoró muchísimo en programación según unas métricas. Y esa mejora, ojo, no es solo por presumir números. Es la base que... So the woman's voice in this co-hosted audio overview is a lot more natural sounding to me than the man's voice so far, but it's really, really good. I'd love to hear what the feedback is in the other languages that you speak. Share in the comments. Now, you could also share your notebook. The one thing that I don't think that they have yet is public sharing, which I would love to publicly share notebooks. They don't have that yet. You can, however, share with people within your organization. But as far as I'm aware, you still can share with people outside of your organization for now. Now, if there's somebody within your organization, like for my support team, they can be viewers, editors, or I can revoke access completely. You can choose to either notify people or to not when you do share the notebook with them, giving them access. And now they have something called adding a welcome note, which is for users, just a little welcome note that people will see when they actually open a notebook. You also can have that viewers have access to the full notebook or just the chat. And then here is the link to share with them, or you could share directly via email. These updates are really great. The different languages in the audio overviews are very exciting. Just imagine getting more information out there related to what it is that you do in different languages. I have my dog here. He's like, it's time to stop. Let me just say hi to him. And people will say that he's um, an elderly dog because of the gray hair, but he's not. He's actually young. He's going to be three. He's like, mommy, it's time to stop. But the most interesting ones to me were the audio overviews. The most interesting updates to me <laughs> he wants my attention, were the audio overviews and uh, the mind maps. I think the different lengths of overviews, the different languages, and then the mind maps are the coolest things. So go check it out and we'll see you next time.